gonna be making a power cube cover. The directions you'll need to make this is first you're going to have to fold fabric in half such that it's 30 inches by 42 inches. The next thing you'll have to do, using the pencil and yardstick, draw the pattern onto the fabric following the layout provided. The third thing you'll have to do is put the corner marks on the fabric. Then, once you're done with that, cut out the pieces using the picking shears so that the fabric does not fray. Cut should be made so the zigzag pattern on the outside of the lines you have drawn. In other words, the cuts do not cross the lines. The next thing is you're going to have to unfold piece A and the layout zipper so that the top tabs overlap each other. And the middle and the zipper poles are as close to each other as possible. Put in place. Zippers should be face down on the back side of the fabric. Next thing is using the zipper foot, stitch down both sides of the zipper and across the ends. Stitch back and forth at the ends to secure. The next thing is go over your stitches with a close zigzag stitch to help prevent fraying. After that, turn fabric to right side and cut along the zipper in between the stitches to expose the zippers. Cut any fraying pieces near the stitches. Next, fold piece A back in half, right sides together, front of zippers will be inside. And stitch the 12 inch sides together using a 1 4th inch seam. Next thing is pin right sides together, one piece B to the top of piece A, the side that is closest to the zipper, 
matching corners of B to the corner marks on A and sew together using a 1 4 seam. The next thing you'll have to do is unzip the top enough to get your hand through. This is to help with turning the cover right side out when finished. Next, you have to pin right, right sides together, the other piece B to the bottom piece of A, and sew one fourth inch seam. Lastly, you have to turn right side out, unzip completely to insert your milk crate. 